We're about to do the ribbon cutting for our fantastic new uh, Port Coquitlam uh, Rec Center, Community Center. This is so exciting. It's so great to be back. So great to see a crowd. Uh, my name is Mark. I'll be emceeing the main stage. We have great uh, entertainment lined up for you all day long. Welcome back outdoors, Port Coquitlam. Welcome back into the group. And uh, to get things underway and started, I'm going to hand it over now to our incredible Mayor Wes. Good afternoon, everyone. To begin, I'd ask you to please join me in giving a warm welcome to Coquitlam First Nation Chief Ed Hall. Thank you, Mayor West. Just want to say uh, it's a it's a great day here. It's an honor to be here to represent uh, the Quinquilton First Nation and all the generations of that. To be here on a very spe special, momentous day to open up your uh, new facility here. I have the official ribbon cutting. Uh, I was just in awe when I came up from the uh, the parkade underneath there, which was quite spacious too. Very impressive. So I am the elected chief of the Quiquaclum First Nation. I've been at that for two and a half years and on its council uh, in a couple of stints uh, for 10 years. So that's a little bit about my history of the leadership there. And uh, I have been a student learner of my language. Uh, it's an endangered language. Uh, there's really no uh, fluent speakers of it. It's called Hunkaminam. So I will do an, uh, an introduction, an opening greeting in that. I will translate and then I'll share a few acknowledgements and then I'll step away from the stage and pass the air along. I swale, I sepoyal, scapalem, ed hall, tonesqui, tleets, nalak, quiquaclum, I mission city, I scowlets, tomas. As yem to say it's eaten alston, I machnatin, I sap, quat, wheelum, I etunash, quiquaclum. Tomach. Good day, how are you all? Siam at a hall. Scalpalum is my traditional name. Honor friends, relatives, visitors. Welcome to the ancestral unceded lands of the Quiquaclum people. I just want to acknowledge uh, the city of Port Coquitlam and all of its dignitaries, Mayor West and the, the council and all the staff and everything that have uh, you know, sent the invitation out here to me to represent and uh, have a few words with all the citizens here in Port Coquitlam for the opening of this. Uh, it's a huge honor and I want to acknowledge uh, the, the, uh, Keith Bramhill of the RCMP, the upper echelon there, <laughs> your title is inspector, is it? Superintendent, thank you. And all the Port Coquitlam City Councilors, all the citizens here. I was just telling uh, a couple of the folks over here that uh, I was just in awe when I came up from the parkade there and I looked around here. I was here at the, the grand opening when the, the first sheet of ice had opened up and, the, and then it was eventually the library too. And uh, it's just, just an amazing facility. And it's always been my dream to have one, uh, you know, something maybe not as large in scale, but uh, something... Uh, Know, with a uh, skating rink and uh, the, you know that over in the Big River Road site, uh, it's going to take years to, to be able to have anything uh, ready over there. So, anyways, uh, just want to say it's an honor, it's a pleasure, and uh, for all of the citizens that are going to be using uh, this facility, it's going to be a nice place to relax over a book, burn off a little bit of energy on the sheet of ice, go for a good swim, uh, do some laps, that kind of thing. Uh, the children playing out on the ground here, hearing the little voices screaming and laughing everything like that it's going to be uh something to enjoy for generations to come very lucky <laughs> thank you very much I thank you chief hall for your gracious words we appreciate you being here and appreciate our friendship and partnership as we work together to build a better future for our communities. Hello, Port Coquitlam. Welcome to the grand opening of your new Port Coquitlam Community Center. My name is Brad West and I am honored and so proud to be the mayor of the best city with the best people in our entire country. 
Thank you all for being here to celebrate this very special day. I'm pleased to introduce a number of guests. First, I'm privileged to work with a tremendous and hardworking city council. And I can tell you, you won't find another group of people that is more dedicated to this community and its residents. I'm joined today by councillors Steve Darling, Laura DuPont, Nancy McCurra, Daryl Penner, Glenn Pollock, and Dean Washington. I'm also pleased to welcome our MLA, the Honorable Mike Farnworth, as well as Corporal Whitland School Trustees, Christine Pollock, my favorite Pollock, that's what I would say, and Michael Thomas. Also, a big Pogo welcome to our neighbors. School Board Chair Carrie Palmer Isaac, Mayor John McEwen from the Village of Anmore, Mayor Jamie Ross from the Village of Belcara, Mayor Richard Stewart from the City of Coquitlam, Mayor Linda Buchanan from the City of North Vancouver, and Mayor Mike Hurley from the City of Burnaby. Thank you for joining us. Our community has always been guided by civic leaders who believed in the bright future of Port Coquitlam. And we are very fortunate to have many Freedom of the City recipients with us today, including former city councillors Phil Ranger, John Carolock, Mark Gordon, Ron Talbot, Mike Bowen, Michael Wright, Mike Forrest, and former Mayor George Lakin. I want to particularly acknowledge the work of Mike Forrest, who was an instrumental and passionate, and if you know Mike, you know passionate, member of the team who got this whole thing started. Thank you, Mike. And though he wasn't able to join us, I also want to recognize the contributions and leadership of our former mayor, Greg Moore. A project of this magnitude can only be delivered through the commitment, hard work, and determination of a special group of people. And I want to thank those who made it happen here in Poco. Our project partners, Vantana Construction, Architecture 49, Tango Management Group, and Quantum Properties. Every tradesperson and worker who put in the hours and applied their craft and their labor to raise this building out of the ground. Our Port Coquitlam City staff, past and present, I won't name you all because there's many of you, but you know who you are. Many of you are here today. I want to really emphasize this. We are so fortunate to have a talented and dedicated group of professionals working for our residents. Thank you for your service to this community, and you can all take pride in the role that you play in making all of this happen. Thank you to our staff. And most importantly, thank you to all of you. Thank you to the residents of Port Coquitlam. Thank you for your support, your enthusiasm, your care, and your pride in our city. And thank you for your patience through pile driving, changing protocols, and just a few parking challenges. You handled it all well, and I hope you'll agree the wait was worth it. Today is a historic milestone for Port Coquitlam, and you are all a part of it. Today we will cut the ribbon on one of the biggest projects in our city's history. It seems like only yesterday we were standing on the construction site with shovels in hand. Having this project delivered now, on time, and on budget, during a global pandemic, I will, I'll repeat that one more time, it's worth repeating. On time and on budget in a global pandemic. 
is something we can all be proud of. There couldn't be a better time for this level of excitement, opportunity, and new amenities in our city and in our downtown, and for the health and quality of life of our residents. This facility houses three arenas, including a spectator arena, a gymnasium, a leisure pool and aquatics area, a fitness center and studios, a children's area for preschool and child minding, the Terry Fox Library, a concession, the large Mabbitt Hall and other multi-purpose spaces, washrooms and change rooms with universal and accessible options and underground parking with 425 spots with a pick up and drop off area. And as you'll see, the community center's outdoor space are just as impressive. Featuring multi-use sports courts, playgrounds, a walking path, community gardens, lots of seating, a large outdoor lawn to sit and enjoy, and an outdoor spray park connected to the leisure pool. This truly is a special day in Port Coquitlam. And there is nothing more special, nothing, that holds more meaning to this community than being the hometown of Terry Fox. It's truly an honor to have a representative of the Fox family with us here today. I'd ask you to join me in giving a warm welcome to Dave Teixeira, the chair of the Terry Fox Hometown Run. Terry Fox is our hometown hero who showed the world that dreams are made possible if you try. The Fox family moved to Port Coquitlam in 1966, and Terry spent most of his childhood and teen years growing up in our city with his parents, Roley and Betty, and his siblings, Daryl, Fred, and Judith. At the age of 18, Terry was diagnosed with cancer just above his knee. His leg was amputated, and while he was recovering, he witnessed people of all ages suffering and succumbing to cancer. Terry asked himself what he could do to help, and so began his idea to run across Canada to raise awareness and money for cancer research. Terry began training for that cross-country run that would become the Marathon of Hope right here in Port Coquitlam. Today, standing on Kelly Avenue is a map of eastern and central Canada embedded in the ground, which shows the route of the Marathon of Hope, with each round marker on the map showing an important milestone in Terry's journey. I want you to imagine the legacy of future generations being able to come here and draw inspiration by tracing Terry's steps, starting in St. John's, Newfoundland, and ending just outside of Thunder Bay, Ontario. You'll see a QR code that you can scan to read Terry's personal journal entries written on his journey through the Atlantic provinces, Quebec, and Ontario towards home. As we all know, Terry was forced to stop his Marathon of Hope outside of Thunder Bay on September 1st, 1980, when cancer returned in his lungs and he was no longer able to run. Terry's run was stopped short. But the dream of that young man from Port Coquitlam has endured and inspired generations of Canadians across this country to raise over $850 million towards cancer research. I'd now like to ask our staff to reveal the new name of this outdoor plaza. In partnership with the Fox family, let me be the very first to welcome you to the Terry Fox Hometown Square.
This is only the beginning, and I'm excited to share with you that again, in partnership with the Fox family, our council has passed a resolution that a new Terry Fox statue be commissioned for the Port Coquitlam Community Center. And I can tell you that we will be working closely with the Fox family to produce a statue that is a fitting tribute to our hometown hero, that inspires future generations, and that all of us can be proud of. Together with the display of Terry Fox artifacts and memorabilia inside of the community center, we will be leaving no doubt how proud we are to be the hometown of Terry Fox. Today is going to be an amazing day with lots going on, so be sure to take time to check it all out. Fantastic food trucks, all of Poco's craft breweries and distillery, incredible live music, it's all here. Welcome again to your Port Coquitlam Community Center. This place is for our community, it's for our families, it's for our seniors, it's for our young people and our kids. This is for everyone who calls Port Coquitlam home to enjoy and build memories together, to win championships and lose heartbreakers, to form friendships and lifelong bonds, to read and to discover, to learn lessons that will last a lifetime, and to connect and grow. This is the place where we will understand the true meaning of community and write the next chapter in the history of this amazing city that we call home. And this really is just the beginning. It's an exciting time of positive renewal and revitalization for our city. And I know our future is looking bright because this is Poco and you ain't seen nothing yet. Woo! Enjoy the day safely and responsibly, everyone. Have a great time. I'll ask Council Chief at Hall, MLA, Farnworth, Mike Forrest, and Dave Teixeira to join me for the official ribbon cutting. Thank you very much, everyone. One, two, three, yeah! A lot of commitment by some council members in the process six years ago and the present council following through with it now. Uh, a lot of negotiation between people of, regarding the contents of this fine facility, the kinds of things that we wanted to have for community, the difference between community and recreation versus co competition, a whole bunch of, of parts to the puzzle in the planning process that went on about six years ago. And we're so fortunate in Port Coquitlam to have this facility here now. And not the least of which is where we're standing here would have been parked cars, except we have an underground parking that is just unbelievable, though it cost 15 million extra dollars in the process. It was a vision certainly pushed by our mayor at the time, Greg Moore, and a vision that we had that was there at the time and was agreed to by the team. The best decision of all the use of this outdoor facility with a parking underneath. Very well done. The whole facility is just something to behold. It is wonderful. It's a, a, the biggest, I think, the biggest single public amenity that has ever been built in Port Coquitlam, $132 million. And on time, on budget, uh, pretty impressive. And I thank all of those people that helped put it together and bring it to fruition today. The reality of the staff that we have had in the process of getting to where we are, the use, the ability of those people, and specifically in the finance department under Karen Gramada, unbelievable ability to help us through the finances, to find methods of doing this unbelievable piece of financing to get us here. And here we are. And uh, accolades to all the team, staff, people to help us 
to get where we are. Well, it's a very exciting day here in Port Coquitlam with the grand opening of the new Port Coquitlam Community Centre. This is a day that's uh, been a long time coming and we're just so excited to have such a tremendous facility open and available for our residents. You know, we're a growing community and this is going to serve our community well into the future. Offers so many opportunities and options for people to, to connect, to stay active. Uh, I'm just so proud of the work that's gone into this and everything that was done to, to make it happen and uh, very satisfying to be here and have it open. While the opening event featured entertainment for the entire family throughout the afternoon, there was little doubt that the centre of attention was the community centre itself, which offers far more to the community than just an expanded ice rink. 